Hello friends, this is Abhishek Agarwal here and it is the third tutorial of the particular series where I am showing you how to use power copy and user feature command in Kadia V5. I hope you have seen my first two videos where I have completed with the wireframe model and performed certain set of operations on one particular edge over here. Now in this tutorial, I will show you how to replicate these set of operations for other edges also by using power copy and user feature command. To select a power copy option, you need to go to insert and advanced replication tool. Here you can see a power copy creation so select this tool and it will ask you to select a component which you want to power copy. So we will select a join command over here and as soon as we select a join command it will get split into number of inputs. We cannot provide these many inputs so we will click them to split further. Uh, we cannot provide sweep 1. Yeah we can provide the extract 16 no problem with that but not a split 2, not sphere 2, not plane 2 not a slip, split 1 also, not sphere 1 and not a plane 1. So here we are remain with the single input and as you select the input these many options will be power copied by itself. So click OK. Now in order to now to start with the power copy we have to create a new geometrical set. So go to insert select a geometrical set name the set as power copied and click OK. Make sure to define this geometrical set into our work object. Now go to power copy option over here and right click on this option and go to instantiate. Now it will ask you to select a uh, input for which you want to replicate these many set of operations. So we will select this age as our input and as we click on preview button you can see entire set of operations right from plane creation, point selection, sweep, sphere creation, everything is copied for this edge also. So if you click OK, you can see the entire operations are copied for this edge. Now if you again right click on it and go to instantiate and if you are using another edge, let's say this edge, by clicking a preview button you can see the entire operations are copied for this edge also. So now click OK button. Now here you can see uh, as we as we go on selecting edges, our power copy geometrical set and the entire tree uh, getting bigger and bigger and very massive. So in order to avoid this situation, we have one more similar feature which is called as user feature command. It works similarly as power copy feature but it will help you to keep your tree as small as possible. So what we are going to do, we will delete all these operations and this one also. And I will explain how to perform the same task by using a user feature command which will help you to keep your specification tree as small as possible. I hope you have understood all the basics for using the power copy command. In case of any query, please feel free to comment below and um, the user feature command I'll, I'll explain in my next tutorial. Thank you for watching.